Hey everyone, it's the Rockstar01, just coming to you with uh, another video. Um, the Stanley Cup Finals started, uh, and we're, I believe, Game 4 will be Monday, which is tomorrow. Um, so far, the Penguins have won two games, and the Sharks have won one. So, the series is going pretty good so far. Um, there's been a... Really what I wanted to talk to you guys about was a little controversy that's been going on. Not so much controversy, but just some things have been said, things have been posted, and it's been back and forth. And I thought I would give my opinion on the situation. Uh, the Penguins won in overtime game two. And Sidney Crosby set up an amazing play to get to Connor Sheary and Connor Sheary scored the overtime winner and as you might know Sidney Crosby is the captain of the Pittsburgh Penguins so it is usually his job to tell the team what play they're going to do you know to kind of not so much be the coach but also help be the coach you know tell the team what things because he's you know been playing since 2005 so 11 years <laughs> He's been playing 10 seasons, I believe. And <clears throat> so he just knows. He has awesome insight on it. And um, after the win, Logan Couture made some comments in his interview saying that Sidney Crosby cheats in face-offs and that's how they win. And then it's went on back and forth, you know, San Jose saying Pittsburgh's cheating. Pittsburgh saying, uh, you know, not really... <laughs> You know, just kind of like, oh yeah, that's, you know, just playoff banter and trying not to get too involved, but also not admitting fault, but also not admitting innocence. And um, my opinion on it is, is I've watched lots of games this season. Since I became a hockey fan in 2007, I've watched plenty of games and, you know, everyone says... Crosby cheats, Crosby cheats, Crosby this, Crosby that. And I've asked a friend of mine who uh, plays hockey, in his opinion, does he think Sidney Crosby cheats in face-offs or in other aspects of the game? And he said he doesn't think so. He said he thinks Crosby's just really good and really talented. And, you know, it's just, I think it comes from Logan Couture's emotion from... You know, they're they were down two and up two and oh in the series then. I mean now they won a game, but just comes from that emotion, you know, it's just something people say when they're down. It's not really I mean, and then like I was watching the game yesterday and Jeremy Roenick went on to say that everyone cheats in face offs. And I mean I'm not sure exactly what he meant by he was cheating in face offs. I mean I watch said take face offs. How many ever times a game Sidney Crosby takes a face off, but like I don't think he really did anything differently than what he normally does or what other people normally do. You know, I think it's just like I said before, I think it's just more emotions coming forward and you know, I don't think <clears throat> I don't think Sid really cheats at all. I mean you know, people always try to say that about Sid, like he does this, does that, but really he doesn't. I mean, there have been some instances where it's like, Sid, what are you doing? But he's not like a repeat offender. He's not like a Sean Avery, a Rafi Torres, a Milan Lucic. He's not, you know, doing things that everyone knows are wrong, you know. He's just playing the game. And I think it's because, you know, he's so good at taking face-offs that it could come off as that way and <clears throat> you know um and like I think it was Keith Jones had said the refs are really good at watching face-offs that is the one thing the refs are good at and had Sidney Crosby been cheating he would be thrown out and it would have to go to I believe Hornquist and Sheary who aren't strong face-off takers and like Keith Jones had said, he doesn't, Sidney Crosby can't afford to cheat in the face off. You know, with those two are the only backup options. You see, 
Logan Couture can't afford to cheat in a face-off because he has Patrick Marlowe on his side, and or I think uh, Mark Edward Vlasic is on his other end. So, you know, he has those two who can take face-offs and do. And it's like if, you know, he said really can't afford to cheat in a face-off to where he could get caught and have one of those two have to take over. So I think it's... I mean, it's getting kind of... I mean, <clears throat> since I've been watching hockey, I've had to deal with people saying things about Sid pretty much, yeah, the whole time. And it's it's kind of ridiculous, and I think it just really stems from people being jealous and angry. And, yeah. But, so game uh, four is tomorrow. Um, Pittsburgh is up 2-1 and one now in the series. And I believe, if it needs to, game seven is going to be on the 15th. So that's when, for sure, playoffs will be done. And then I believe the draft and award show are shortly after. I think the award show... Is it the 30th or is that when the draft is? I don't know. I'd not look it up. But I know they're like right within not too long of each other. So, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, so <clears throat> that's really all I had to say is just to address that and say like my opinion. I don't think he is cheating. I think he's just... You know that good at face-offs that people are getting frustrated that they're not winning the face-offs and they want to be like oh he's cheating because you know it's just like emotions running high and stuff like that so anyways I'll be back with you guys with another video when we have a winner of this thing or if there's anything else I want to talk to you guys about so yay all right bye thank you for watching